Elliot here reporting live from Nuremberg in Germany. We are at PCIM 2025 with Ilya from OnSemi. Ilya? Hi. Lovely nice to meet, meet you. you. Let's talk about the Treo platform. It's based on a BCD technology which some people might not have heard of before. Ilya, would you please just start by explaining yeah, let me what explain. is that? BCD technology got created to combine really high power, high voltage uh, solution with analog solutions and a little bit of compute you know, in CMOS. So BCD stands for, you know, B standing for by CMOS, C for CMOS, and D for DMOS. And by CMOS kind of was really like the analog or bipolar technology. And nowadays, it really stands for integration of being able to do high voltage, being able to do like high-end compute, meaning a lot of CMOS, like digital compute, as well as analog functions, which is what the bipolar piece is for. How is it transformed? It's the modern BCD technology really tries to bring in a lot of compute power into the platform. And we're now at 65 nano. We have a lot of density that we can put very dense digital and computation into the platforms. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So let's talk about why BCD. Why would I want to be combining these three technologies into one? And what does the Trail platform offer which legacy ICs wouldn't offer? Well, traditionally, obviously, systems were constructed using individual pieces, and each piece would be good at its own. Good by a micro that's mostly done on a CMOS platform, mm -hmm. and then you would use that micro microcontroller, microprocessor to do your compute, to do your computations, to, to gather all the sensor data, and then that micro through different interfaces would work with other chips, maybe high voltage chips, mm -hmm. maybe sensor chips that are the analog chips, and it would combine and harvest this data and then do the control through the kind of high voltage chips. Now you can put all those three pieces into one, and all can be accomplished with a single chip, allowing you high level of integration. Right? Amazing. So you've got your high power, you've got your precision analog, and your high speed digital all in one IC. Does, exactly. does that come? You would think that you can't be putting your high power right next to your ADC as you would usually do in your hardware designs. How do you accomplish this? We also utilize techniques to create isolation between those blocks on chips. So we basically have deep and well isolation technology that allows us to put high power, a lot of noise, and then effectively isolate it from our you know, digital, or really, most importantly, from our analog, so that noise doesn't bleed through, right? Mm -hmm. So there are some proprietary techniques, depending on which voltage, where we actually combine that allow us to combine these technologies into one. So we've used the wording Treo platform. Platform, hopefully indicating you've got more than one solution. Bring us through it. Yes, so we structured, you know, apart from actually having the process, which is the TRIO process, where you can come and work with us and make your own IC however you want. Make your own IC? Yes. So wow. this is for Play Foundry, which means you can utilize our process and make your own individual ICs as ASICs for your own company if mm -hmm. you want to. But internally, we've also created a platform where we created a breadth of different IP solutions and blocks that we can combine rapidly together to create solutions for our customers. Amazing. So that is the platform piece of Trio. And it's actually weirdly showed here, we have different pieces of the platform that we can then combine. We talked about the sensing, the smart sensing, we talked about you know, a subsystem that does power or maybe like some kind of actuation using the high voltage piece, and we also have the compute. And yeah. so we have all of those kind of pre-created and we can rapidly combine them and then maybe create some unique IP that's specific to that application, add it on. And so the backbone inside of the chips is well-defined and kind of ready to really put these solutions together and then bring the solution to the market rapidly in, you know, within a year. Wow, it's almost like Subway, but for processing, high power and analog. That's amazing. Might be Subway, it could be maybe like Chipotle. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 cool, cool. So, you wouldn't want to build any old sandwich with our Subway analogy. You can build some pretty bad ones. So let's talk about the ones that you already have pre-built. You're putting your different modules together. Presumably, you have different applications for each IC in your range. Would you let us know what a couple of them could be? Well, we targeted the platform to cover, you know, the segments where we participate, and specifically the segments are automotive, industrial, consumer electronics and some medical devices, right? And so we already created some devices in the automotive space and in consumer space, and we actually have them 
over here behind us with these examples. And probably the two to pick is the 10 base T1S, which is the new automotive in-vehicle network, and the ultrasonic sensors. Uh, those are good examples because 10 base T1S is a highly integrated solution that needs a little bit of digital to kind of actually do the networking but it also needs to be powered off of a modern automotive network. So it can kind of power itself from a 48 volt, get up, wake up other subsystems, and then actually execute the networking function. Wow. And then, you know, ultrasonic sensors is something we've been creating for a while, and now we're combining pretty high compute inside of the sensor that actually processes the data using analog, then converts it, and you can either get a raw signal or convert it, and then push that up the stream, obviously, to the vehicle for like modern ADAS systems. Amazing. It seems like flexibility is really the name of the Trio platform. Everything from ultrasonic sensors to compute, it's amazing what you've got here. Well, so now if you kind of think about it, if you'd like to implement your ultrasonic sensor using 10 base T1S networking, we could actually combine that into one chip, and mm -hmm. there are some plans where now the interface can be a 10 base T1S directly to that and actually function as a node on the network directly by just joining those two chips together because we already have the IPs, right? Amazing. AI is a word on the street at the moment. So let me ask Ilya, what are they doing to keep up with the trends? How are they helping the AI revolution to flourish? Well, so Trio is actually also part of our solution because in high power compute applications, it's actually targeted to be used to create power solutions for AI processors that are used in data centers. So we intend to create power solutions, monolithically integrated or otherwise, that can actually use, be used to power the data center. Mm -hmm. What's nice about that, the modern power that needs to be delivered to these data centers has to be clean, has to be efficient, and has to be monitored. And now you can combine these ADCs and other functions onto your power solutions so you can monitor, collect data, know what's going on with your AI solution mm -hmm. at the same time using the TRIO platform. Amazing. And in other applications, we also kind of have this medical application for hearing aids, which comes with DSPs and quite complex compute. Okay. And we can add pieces of a little bit of AI at the edge to actually satisfy that as Beautiful. well using our TRIO platform. Amazing. Ilya, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. This has been On Semi and IP Exchange at PCIM 2025.